Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another flipped classroom tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be looking at managing a project through Google Sheets. And we're also going to look at one of the recent additions to Google Sheets that is going to enable us to have a clear overview of what needs to be done, who's in charge of that, and when it happens. So let's jump onto the computer. Here we are in Google Sheets and I've already set it up with four columns. Now we have the first column, task, then we have key person, start of that task and the deadline. So let's go ahead and populate this with a number of simple tasks that need to be done. The first thing you'll do in order to get this done is you'll highlight and select everything you want part of your timeline. So in this case, I want to highlight all of this here. And now I'm going to turn this into a timeline by inserting a timeline. So we have everything selected. We're going to go to the top where it says insert. And then we select timeline. And this will generate a timeline. Let's click on OK. It takes all that information that I've given it and it creates a timeline. Now you can see here this timeline already has everything on there and it also has that clear timeline at the top where you can see that this starts before the year 2023. Now the great thing is, is that you can always change these settings. So for example here, what is the start date? Well you can choose a key person, a start date, deadline. I'm just going to go for the different starts. I'm also going to add different key persons to this so you can see who has to do what. Now, if you wanted to just highlight the actual task, you can do that as well. It's not as clear. You can also have the deadline highlighted so people see when things need to be done, or you can choose to have no options and then it's just blank highlighted blocks. I'm going to go with the start date of these different tasks. Now, here we can select the card color and this says key person. Now what that means is it's going to look at your original spreadsheet data and use conditional formatting to then format your cards. So in order to make that happen, we have to go back to our original sheet and we are going to have to add some conditional formatting. So let's do that to this column. We're going to go to format, conditional formatting. Now I'm going to say that whenever the cell contains, so is equal to my name. So let's go ahead and add my name in there. It's going to automatically format it green. We're going to add another rule because we're also going to add one for Jane. So Jane is going to have a different color. We're going to go with the yellow for Jane. And then Tom will also have a color. So we're going to give Tom a different color. That will be a blue, maybe too close to, let's give him a purple color. Done. So now that you can see that conditional formatting is working in this column, it will automatically be reflected in our timeline view. And that's a great way of really visualizing who's in charge of what, when it needs to be done by, and also just having that view across a timeline. Now, if you do not want to do it this way, if you don't want to use conditional formatting, you can always simply leave this blank and then click on each individual card to give it a color. So here, for example, if say we have an extra task, I'm just going to add that there. I'm going to give this to myself. I'm going to give it a start date of the 30th of March, 2023. And then here it ends the 40th, uh, the 14th of April, April, 2023. Now we're going to have to do two things. And that's going to be um, James. Now, as you can see, James does not have conditional formatting. And so in the timeline, James will show up white. Now, these are not yet part of my timeline. So you can see here, I can click on this and I can manually assign this a color because that's not part of the conditional formatting rules. So this is a really, really useful feature within Google Sheets that is going to help you manage your projects even better. Hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.